Okay, I was just humbled the most I've ever been humbled. I'm at Home Depot, and you know how all the girls do that little trend where they're like, just walk around Home Depot and pretend like you're lost to find your next guy. Literally, nobody helped me or even like approached me. I was there for an hour and I was just like kind of walking around. I had some stuff I actually had to pick up, but like, that's embarrassing for me. What a idiot. Finally, we are back with some of the most delusional women on the internet. Uh, mainly just TikTok, right? That, that's where they all like are. It's like the hub for the crazy women. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. So this woman is like, oh, why anybody hit on me at freaking Home Depot? Yeah, probably because of the way you're dressed. I can tell you right now. That's probably a huge part of it because you're dressed like you're out there selling your content for, uh, for the price of a cheeseburger, right? And I mean, this woman's been covered before, and shocker, surprise, oh what, she does. Yeah, 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 she is the lowest so low. She's that type of girl. Yeah, and most men have smartened up to uh, the fact that they don't, they don't wanna deal with that crap, right? You don't wanna be uh, dating a girl with, with uh, freaking her stuff all over the internet, and possibly her with other men on the internet or whatever. I mean, it's gross, it's nasty. And then let's also take that out of the equation and say, hey, you know, the men, some men may not realize that or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, most men are not approaching women in public for a million reasons. I covered a lot of that in my last video on the, you know, these, these freaking women, right? These delusional women in this series, right? A lot of, a lot of the time, man, men just don't want to deal with it for so many reasons. Because, I mean, this type of woman that will post you online for content, right? She, she will probably, uh, she probably very much just needs constant attention, you know, just always needing attention. She's that type of person, right? And most men just don't want to deal with it. Okay, I have a question for men. Why don't you guys approach us in public? It's so frustrating. Like, I just went to Lowe's and I was walking around grabbing some supplies for my move. And I made eye contact with like three different guys. I was smiling. I was just like doing my thing and nobody came up to me they almost seemed like annoyed that i was looking at them it's just such a weird world we're in i guess everyone uses online dating apps but if you guys would just like approach a girl i'm telling you 99 percent of women would love it like all you have to say is like you know oh i love your shoes or you know do you need help with this or literally anything and you'll be able to tell right away if she's like vibing with you or if she's into you or if she's not interested and has a boyfriend like she'll probably just like be a little bit more shy and walk away or something like Ugh. brother Ugh. what's that yeah this is not the woman to be giving out dating advice listen yeah men do approach women not as much right and there's a lot of reasons for that I'm telling you right now, back to the whole selling your selling your stuff online for the price of a cheeseburger, I feel like you very much get that pop off, right? Like you very much just need the attention from all everybody, all the men, all the women who knows, whatever. I don't know, I don't know what you're into, or whatever. Right, but listen, yeah, that's just kind of what you give off there. And yeah, they probably were annoyed. I would be annoyed. I'd be like, what's this bitch want? Really? This is some stupid, stupid crap. Just some attention horror stuff going on right now. And I wouldn't want to deal with it. If I'm honest, and a lot of those men, especially when she at Lowe's this time, a lot of men at Lowe's are right, right there. I know when I'm at Lowe's, I'm probably in the middle of a project or getting ready to start a project. Or probably at the end of a project because I'm trying to return on the crap that I got for the project that I, that I didn't use, couldn't use, or just bought extra off just in case, right? So yeah, nobody, nobody's trying to deal with that. Just, just face the reality. And you're sitting, you're sitting in your park, the park lot, making your little videos, your content. I mean, who knows if it's even real? I, I don't know. This is a, uh, this woman is something else. But definitely not the top woman that I would be taking any kind of advice from if I were you. So since I literally spend almost all day of my job talking to men, single men, married men, men who are unhappy in their relationships, I think I finally figured out 
that men are actually very simple and this is how you can make a man happy so he will never cheat on you and he will love you all right you guys ready number one a man likes to feel useful to a woman so if you're constantly saying that you're an independent girl you don't need a man as much as that's awesome that actually turns men off a little bit no husband wants to feel unneeded so just making your man feel like He's useful if that's saying, hey, can you help me bring the groceries in? Even though you're totally capable of doing it yourself. Or, hey, can you, you know, put this painting up for me? I can't reach that high. Obviously, men know that you could do it yourself. But a lot of men just... Okay, I mean, generally, you know, like, take, take a lot of the fluff away. Generally, she's not super wrong here, in my opinion. Yeah, men aren't trying to deal with any boss, boss lady, whatever's, you know, none of that crap. So yeah, I kind of get what she's saying there. <sighs> Again, it's probably not the top one that I'd be taking any kind of advice from. But hey, you know what? I mean, generally, I feel like she's not like super off base with that one. Let, let's hear what else she has to say. Number two is men are natural problem solvers. So when you're coming to a man with your problems at night, you need to either specify and say, hey, I just need you to listen, or you need to be open to him helping you solve a problem. Most men get really frustrated and overprotective of their partners, and when they hear their partner, you know, crying about something at work or upset about, you know, whatever it is, their natural instinct is to want to help you and want to, like, help you solve it. And honestly, if your man is not doing that, he's probably not that into it, into you. So Again, actually some decent advice from this person. Is this even the same person from the first few videos? Because those first few videos, she seemed like a real idiot. And now she's uh, kind of making sense on stuff. Yeah, a lot of men's first instinct is to try to help. I mean, granted, I mean, a lot of times you probably should just listen because sometimes people talk to you, especially women, and they don't actually want, want help with anything. They just want to talk about it and let it out or whatever, right? I mean, so yeah. I mean, this woman, I still feel like is kind of an idiot here, but uh, she's sort of, she's sort of giving some decent advice here. And I also want to backtrack to in that first, well, not the, you know, this clip we're on right now. She said something about she talks to men at work. I was under the impression that this type of crap was your work. So you just like messaging with men all day or do you have like an actual job? I'm, now I'm confused. Number three, and I know this might be super controversial and they might get like canceled for this, but honestly, men are physical creatures and you do need to satisfy your man. I'm not saying as the relationship goes on and you're married for 10 years that you need to be doing it every day, but I would say at least once a week. And that means even doing it when you don't feel like it. Let's put it this way. If your man never told you, you know, how beautiful you looked or never, you know, brought you flowers or never like did all the things that us women like, do you think you would still be with him? It's the same for men. They are just physical beings. Oh wow, this 304 hit three for three. That is shocking. She must have read an article or something or watched somebody else's video. Because yeah, she actually hit the, uh, the you know, the nail right on the head there a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, men are much more physical creatures and they need that. Uh, once a week, that doesn't seem like a lot to me, but okay, whatever. I mean, relationships are different. Maybe if you've been together for like 20 years or 10, 20 years, whatever, maybe a little different. For sure, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. And at the same time, as a man, you also have to provide the emotional stuff for the woman, clearly, or she's not going to stick around. And that is hard sometimes to do, and sometimes you got to do that when you don't want to, and then a woman, maybe vice versa, but hopefully the woman does want to. I mean, hopefully you're able to kind of, you know, do that for your woman or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, at the end of the day, um, good advice. The woman's still a 304, and yeah, probably, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, I'm not not the person I would be counting on for, for advice with men, especially those first couple of clips, because they were some real dumb, dumb dummies. <laughs> Top of advice. So here's a map of registered sex offenders in Los Angeles. All these individual little dots. I'm going to randomly click on one, and you get $1 million if you accurately guess the gender. You wouldn't take those chances in a hypothetical situation, so women aren't going to take those chances in real life. For women, it is all men until proven otherwise. While women can be on this list and it's possible, it's not as probable. And that's the point here. If the small percentage of women who do it upset you, then why wouldn't the large percentage of men who do it upset you too? 
Because you're not an advocate against assault. You're an advocate against women. And that's exactly what makes you good guys so dangerous. Oh, shit. You really want to know why men are sick of hearing this message? It is because you said, quote, why wouldn't the large percentage of men upset you too? When men know, you know, we all know that it is not the majority of men. Even when you run the numbers, look, I did a quick Google search and you guys can check me on this, but I found that there are 750,000 offenders in the U.S., Let's say about 75% of them are male because apparently Google says 25% are female. For a grand total of 562,000, the total male population is 165 million. When you do the math, that is 0.34% of males. So I think it becomes pretty clear that this message is purely to demonize men and doesn't really have anything to do with keeping women safe. Uh, okay, all uh, right, this woman is just, clearly trying to demonize men that's all this is that's clearly all this is it's just some stupid crap she's spewing she's just talking some silly silly nonsense here <sighs> yeah yeah i mean yeah i mean you know there are a lot of men that are you know like offenders out there but i'm gonna say the obvious are you ready for it yeah that's a very small percentage of men because it's not all men yeah yeah not all men are out there to get you yeah some are but some are pieces of the shed, and so are some women. I mean, sadly, you know, men, you know, there are a good amount of men that are a piece of shit out there that would do that. I'll give you that. But that's not the point. That's not the point you're trying to make here, is it? You're just trying to be like, oh, everybody be scared of men, or, or women be scared of men here, right? That's all you're doing. And uh, you know what? That's fine. You stay in your little corner at TikTok, and we'll all point and laugh at you because you look dumb. You look dumb. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is just some silly crap. You, you've uh, you've been like, you know, oh, let me do it or whatever. If it wouldn't have been a man, would you have redone the video? Mm, yeah, you would have. You would have. And let's face it. We know for sure that women do this, right? Uh, apparently, it's reported less or whatever. I don't know. But I, I don't know. I'm not, not up on the facts and statistics here. That's not what this is. This is my opinion. Change, tell me